Hey, what's going on, guys? It's still Monkey King here. I'm bringing you a domination gameplay using the PP90M1. Uh, in this video, I go rushing around like I did in my last video that I posted on a free fall match, except it's on Dom this time. Um, my team, ended up, me and my team, end up losing because uh, my team doesn't really know how to guess do objectives. Why I go for kills? I mean, I really wasn't trying to go for kills. I was trying to defend my objectives but um this gun i really do like it's probably one of my favorites my probably my favorite smg in the game um, i've used uh, i've only used the top four i think it is how oh, yeah, i think you're mp5 ump45 uh pp9 yeah the first four or five all the way down to the p90 i haven't used the last two um it's just because I just have it. I have prestige, and you know, since they're at the very very end and very end of the levels, I don't bother with them. That's why I do a lot of my guns. Normally, I'd stop. I don't want to choose the guns that are in the center of the leveling. That way, I know I can get when I can get them when I prestige, because I will be prestiging all the way to 10th prestige. Now, um, Russian and MW3, I've seen many videos, people talk about it. But I think, honestly, it's much harder to rush in it. Just because of and right here, watch this, watch this. This is stupid as fuck. Hits me around the damn corner. I fucking hate dislike hitboxes in this game. And sorry for my language there, but I just hate damn hitboxes. But um, back to what I was saying. I just don't rushing. It just seems harder to me. I mean, I guess it's because I'm still not. I mean, I used to be a rusher all the way. It just it seems much harder than it was in all the other ones. I die, but I die a lot. But it's just, I guess it's mainly about having the, the fun or actually you're jumping into somebody's spawn. Of course, you're going to die a lot because you're in their spawn. And without a UAV or some people use assassin, you don't know exactly what they come from. And normally their bullets in to get you first. But I just, I don't, I don't really get why I can't do what I used to be able to do. You, nobody's seen, I don't think I've said anything where I used to, but I used to be, have really good score games and being able to rush around and get kills and have high scores and stuff. I just don't know why I can't do it anymore. I guess I've lost a mojo or something like that. But it also probably has to do with maybe the the power of my behind my guns or other people's guns or maybe their connection. This connection really has a big impact on, on this game still, just like all the other CODs. I wish they didn't. I thought I thought they were going to have, you know, the hopes of dedicated servers. Yeah, let, let's just go ahead and, you know, Activision, let's go ahead and just, you know, make, not have dedicated servers while all Gears and Battlefield 3, your competitors, well, maybe I have maybe, maybe Gears, but Battlefield 3, your competitor, have dedicated servers and you don't. You gotta think about that. Come on, you gotta think about that real hard right there. So dedicated servers are, you know, they're not, they're not a huge difference, but it does help a lot. So somebody doesn't have the automatic over, you know, the better connection because they're host and they're everybody else. But I, I guess this is the way we have to deal with it. It's COD. Gotta take what you gotta get. I still love the game though. Still will love it. Still going to love it. Until the next one. Maybe love that one. Maybe hate that one. But, um... I do believe that dedicated servers... I really do wish they would have been in this game. I wanted them a whole lot. I just tell my friend that I would probably not get the game if it had a dedicated service. But I ended up getting it, getting it anyway. And still loving it. And still going to play it most. But... I just... I don't know. But, but this gun, though... Back to what I was saying with this gun. I just I stopped that on it. It's a really nice gun. Uh, in this game, I'm using a two attachment uh, proficiency with, and I didn't see that guy right there, but he had to kick my ass for that too, and he gets me back two more times, or one more time. But I do. I've used the two attachment proficiencies with extended mags and silencer. Uh, normally, I love having silencer on SMG because I, I am in their spawn, and I don't want them to find me. Or they'll find me anyway because they'll end up seeing the skull, which is really, you know, that's really smart to do. You always look for the skull just my dies and they're spawning, you know, or, yeah. But I'm using, I'm using extended mags. So I'm trying to get the uh, challenges and stuff for this guy because I'm trying to level up faster. 
uh, and then try new things. Which extended mags seems to be really good because in this game, in this game alone, I was getting close to montage clips, but they, of course, they failed. I don't know why, but you'll see. I think here, in, maybe yeah, it's yeah, it's now I'm getting close to another my montage clip here, and then another one here in just a second to the same spot because they're all piled up there. And it fails. Um, I'm using this. I didn't say this earlier. Uh, I'm using the. You should probably tell. I'm using the specialist um, strike package. As I said in my previous video, I do like using the specialist class, but because of the fact that it's really own purpose is to try to get an MLB, and I guess I'm having pop dying a lot. It's not a really purpose, but it does make it to where I'm focusing on my guns and not my kill streaks, and my my kill streaks is more for me or have more having the support you know for the UAVs but not having a UAV does suck a lot my just, having a UAV is awesome to have but I would hope my teammates would have them but obviously they're either using the assault class or they're putting them up there but there's people using assassin um I would say that for this um this gameplay isn't really a good score KD wise and of course it's a loss but I find that it's more about the gameplay itself and not about the actual you know, scores that you get uh, killed uh, your KD on. It. It's about the gameplay itself. I could go zero and 100, but if the gameplay was awesome with a bunch of deaths or funny deaths or something like that, maybe you know, may maybe not having zero and 100 deaths. Zero kills and hard deaths. Maybe that, that's not really that great of a gameplay. I mean, unless the deaths were like extremely fucking hilarious, or you're sitting there listening a live chat and raging all the time. Which, by the way, I might be doing a. I think I might do the whole campaign of, on veteran of Modern Warfare 3 because I need to do that because I'm a big I'm a big achievement whore and I'm I'm also big on playing the veteran campaign of all the Call of Duties. I don't want to have, the one, only one I've not finished was Black Ops on Veteran because Black Ops, I didn't like Black Ops that much. Hate me, hate me. Yeah, go ahead and hate me. Black Ops, yeah. I just didn't like it that much. And I didn't even like the campaign that much. But it was an okay story, but it just wasn't that, that big on me. But I might do a live commentary where you'll hear me, you will hear me rage the living hell. You think you should, there's people on here that, that you've seen on YouTube rage a lot? Wait until you hear me fucking rage because I will go off like there's no fucking tomorrow. Again, sorry for my language is, but that's what you have to get used to if you want to hear live com for the game what do you think. But I plan on doing the whole campaign veteran mode all the way through probably every probably up each episode probably end up being the a blow a level because that's how bad or how mad I will get and probably how many times I will die. Cause nades and COD I'm veteran if you haven't played the veteran campaign, nades and COD are Insanely hard as fuck. I played the War to War campaign and I really was a little relieved after I got finished with that. I thought that was probably one of the hardest campaigns I've ever played. I bet you some of you may be like, what? That was probably easy as hell, but I thought it was hard as shit because of the grenades. The nade spans. You're sitting there running around. Next thing you know, here comes a nade at your ass. Yeah. It's not fun. But, um, this is getting close. Nope. Oh, yeah, I had a little more time. But yeah, I'll probably end up doing that here in a little bit. It's just fucking failing right here. I'm such an idiot. What the fuck? And he ends up getting me somewhere. I didn't look at the kill cam exactly where he's at, but I guess he was sitting there. He was sitting right there. But, like I said, I bait game. my gameplays aren't based on scores to me anymore. I think I'm just going to post whatever I think is a good gameplay, which I thought this was. If you don't, then don't leave, leave feedback and tell me what you would like to see better or whatever. Um, it's coming to an end, and I appreciate you watching. See y'all later. Bye.